G'day, welcome to session 58 of my playthrough of Oxygen Not Included. Uh, thank you for the comments on the previous one. Uh, if anything seems different in this one, I can tell you I am currently wearing shoes, which I don't think I have done for the previous 57 videos. So if anything seems a little bit off, that could be why. But don't worry, I think we'll get through this together. So, um, first things, the third toilet. It's recommended I get rid of that. I can assign it to every people, that's funny. Um, get rid of that, and we'll get rid of that sink, and we will copy it and put it there. Should be a nice, easy move for Stinky. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll shift that to set direction that way, and we will just check out our plumbing to make sure that the change we've just made lines up, and we will deconstruct one and two. Clean. Uh, and then what we will do is we will add a door. I think that's just caused from uh, just removing those two pieces of pipe. No big deal. There's a lot of liquid down here, though. All right, let's mop that up. Pretty sure that's all just normal water. Wow. Uh, Real big deal there. Uh, and then maybe what we'll do as well is just to make it a bit more of a fancy bathroom. Let's chuck a statue in there too. Okay. Um, I guess there were issues with what if there's three toilets, people don't wash their hands because they, they can't do, they can't cope with the idea that there's two different jobs. Like the one sink can facilitate two toilets. That's fine. Okay. Next. Uh, next suggestion, and I do quite like this one, uh, that swap part of the piping, uh, the bathroom piping, so let's go back to our, our plumbing look. So the plumbing that's being used for... This stuff, toilets, the showers, the sinks, and all actually instead go and be, um, could be pure water, or at least part of it could be, could be just normal water, since, um, since I'm constantly in need of this, whereas I've got an overabundance of, of clean water. So, the approach for this, what I think is let's let's get rid of some of this plumbing just so I can make sense of it a little bit. So we're going to deconstruct everything currently with no purpose. Although that may actually have purpose. So that's going to be. Does that guy need liquid? He has liquid intake, so eventually stuff will run out that way. But actually, I'm going to get rid of it for now because I'm going to I'll build that from scratch. Just to make sure I'm, I'm giving it to the set, the correct um, uh, setup here. We'll get rid of that. We will get rid of all of that. And we will get rid of... Uh, we'll go one, two, three. And... Get rid of that too. That. That connector. I say I already I already said get rid of that. Um so basically what we want this to take care of is the sink that's in the room with it. And then we want it to look after what is heading south. So it's gonna go down and it's gonna give water to those guys. Now what that means is that everything north is going to take clean water. So, we will get rid of, uh, in terms of plumbing, probably want to keep all of that stuff. So we'll deconstruct the rest of that north, deconstruct that to that point, Okay, so then what we want 
is. Something going with that. We'll put a liquid pump in as low as it can go. And that liquid pump. I'm gonna send around that that pump, because I, I do still have small intention for that pump. So we'll go up over the top. There. Uh, we'll then do a liquid bridge, making sure it's facing the right way. Yep. There. And we will connect that to there. So, what that'll mean is just put the plumbing that all. Who's starving? Eat something. Uh, make sure it is all good. That you're fine. Well, let's have a quick check of what we got coming in. Don't do digging, it's a very big part of life here. Germ resistance. You seem pretty ordinary too. Let's take that one. Okay. So, uh, we'll go back to this. That will connect all of that. All of this, their sort of like polluted water doesn't much matter. That is going to go back to the right spot. Now, the the second part of this is that we can now um, try and use this as a um, as a way to actually do something with this water too. We go back over here. We grab that guy. We copy him and put him there. And then just build a liquid bridge. Not a connection there. Did I accidentally delete that too? Let's come across. He's going to have to move over there. So let's cancel that. And we'll instead uh, copy him and put him there. Wait and we wait. Yeah. Then put our liquid bridge there. Then we put one there. What we do is we run straight down to him, run across, up, and then we run across and up. Now the other thing that we, we want to do with this is we don't want this guy to just continuously pump. We only want him to pump if this is um, empty to a, an extreme point. So what I mean is that this does consume a fair bit of, of our um, looted water. That if if I was to just put um, the polluted water, like if, if say I was just instead of doing that sort of connection for the liquid into here, this would go down so fast that probably that wouldn't be able to sustain it. But anyway, it would still just be that the polluted water is taking on this, whereas this is also where anything else clean water gets put. So if we go um, in here, we want to set up something that's saying, sorry, in here we want to say uh, automation sensor. It'll be the same as this guy. So liquid element, he's looking for water. So we'll copy him and we will put him at that level. Basically, his rule will be the same as this guy. Oh, I've lost him. There we go, this guy. So we want the reverse order on him. So we'll copy that guy. And there too. Is it the right way? It'll be the other way, won't they? Green to red. Uh, so let's put him there instead. We will cancel that one. Okay. Now let's get all this water cleaned up too. We must have really flooded. Is it just that? What has happened with that water? Why is it so badly flooding? Empty pipe. Oh, 
I know what that means. Saying it's not connecting to that properly. Empty pipe. And it might just be that the worst of this is over and it's now just got to... That's, that has run. Something must have melted, maybe. Because it's, it's all across here. I thought ice was no longer meant to go in our um, storage containers. Anyway. Hopefully it's just a once-off that we don't have to worry about too much. Okay, so... So that's green, so it's sending a red. So the same thing over here, we want to go automation, connect the two of those, so that he's going to now be operating off a red. And then what we want to do is we want to run this guy. That little build, build there. I'll make sure we dodge everything that's got a connector. there. So that what should happen is that this guy will only pump water from this if this guy is actually sort of starting to lose significant water. I mean, could possibly be lower down there, but I'm, this I assume will show as green as long as it's got any sort of water. It, it's not going to have to be completely submerged. I realize for the entirety of this build, toilets won't be working. There's definitely some need for the priority to be done on, say, building that guy. So I think hopefully he's the only thing remaining on that um that side of things. But he does need power to. still a um yeah this guy's still set up so we can um enable him to recover our levels up there again let's get the power cable for this guy too Well, it looks like we have hit the evening and people are going to use toilets without... I mean, I guess there's still um, there's still liquid in the pipes. So, short term, this could be okay. Even the showering and all that's fine. Um, now, the other thing uh, that we, we're looking at um, thank you for the suggestions of swapping that. Um, I do think you're right that I've spent too long just sort of like worrying about polluted water when when I've got an overabundance of clean water. Um, and obviously with this setup here, it means that the polluted water I've got I can turn into clean water anyway if it does become a problem. Um, high pressure vents was something that was also mentioned. Uh, something that I hadn't looked at before. So they can just push push air into high pressure. Um, so say for example, if we were to make that shame, I can't just upgrade a vent into a high pressure one. Let's say we deconstruct that. Uh, let's try making that one a high pressure vent. See how that goes. Well, at the same time, I currently don't really want this to be um to be working because it's not doing anything I don't think. Oh, is, it, oh, is it connected back to the other power? How have I got that set up at the moment? Yeah, it is still just part of the, the grid. So 
So, this is more just an experiment to learn about magic of high pressure vents. Still working on our cabling. And weird about the power cables I've done over there, but. Really, actually, be making them with iron. Or I should be hunting down for some some copper too. Let's see if I can dig some more up. A gold amalgam. Making them out of gold at the moment. That makes a bit more sense of why that's such a journey. So I didn't even click that that's what they were looking at. Oh, I've got plenty of gold. Let's stress that for now. Can't imagine something like that will ever come back to bite me, right? It's not the way that this game works. Um, one other comment that someone made uh, that I was curious to look into, because um, obviously I read the comments separately to being in the game. Someone suggested that I could just rip out this wall, which I think they're completely right about. It serves no purpose at this point. It served a purpose at the point where this guy was sitting in here and this setup was sitting above it, I guess, or something. But I, uh, yeah, I'll happily accept that there's probably no purpose for it at this point. So for now, let's just deconstruct it to see if it does give what I was discussing in the uh, the previous one, uh, that sort of ability for the for the um, this to just sort of flatten out a bit more. Doesn't really need to be like stuck up there. And what we can do is we'll just do a little um, ladder bridge across there. Yeah, thanks for that suggestion. Okay, this guy's currently pumping, and he shouldn't be. So let's uh, disable him for now, because he's going to flood this room if he keeps going. See, so there's a little bit of water just there. Is the last of it? Just make some sweeping declarations to move debris into storage. Obviously, they're only going to do it with the stuff that can actually move. It's not really free, is it? Thank you as well for the clarification, too. Sorry. So, the last episode, I said that 7% chance that the hatches will make uh, the smooth hatches. hatches. Sorry, that was incorrect. It's a. 7% chance that they'll make the stone hatches, and then it's a 7% chance that stone hatches will make the smooth hatches. That wasn't a mistake on someone else's part, that was just me not reading. Uh, which is definitely a habit of mine. So we can see that that now does have this guy pressuring, pumping along, and pumping the gas. So that's cool. I mean, it, the sort of design of this guy was to to sort of operate these these devices, but essentially that all he's doing now is he's just operating as part of this uh, greater network. Which, if he's hit and miss, helping there, that's fine. And we've got a glossy directlet coming in. Good job concerned that we're going to completely run out of them. Here's a question for you. Hopefully it doesn't happen in this particular episode, because otherwise it would have spoiled you for the question. 
I am still hanging on to get my 12th member of my population. I mean, ideally as the Achievement Hunter I am, I should be aiming to have 20 people in here. Um, I realize one way that I could do that is I could just hit save and then I could just play just adding people every single time I get the option, hit 20 and then load back to my, my smaller um, population just to sort of lick the achievement and then and then back out um the it's overheating the door that's some toasty liquid So I feel like, sorry, was I, uh, yes, so sorry, so, but I do want a 12th. I think regardless, I want to get a 12th um, person into the neighborhood. Uh, if I don't get the 12th person in this particular episode, the question um, is, what qualities do you think is most important for me to be looking for? Or is there any particular negatives that I should 100% avoid? I mean, at the moment, I'm, I'm mainly looking at not going for... Um, not going for germ resistance and, and issues with food. They're the uh, they're the two that I sort of figure are, are going to be the most problem. Now, looking at this, I feel that this is just going to be trial and error sort of thing. So, ah, oh, cool. I get to make the. I assumed I was going to have to make someone come down and do this. So, I guess we can just play around and try and work this out. So, we've got a green access into there. So we want that like that. Good. That. New entry. I think I gave up reading the entries a long time ago. A rummage going. Whoa. What did we learn the melting point was of humans the other day? Sweat on down there. Okay, so that little room there is, is addressed. Nothing too exciting. Hold on down there. This is the other thing that uh that it probably was reminded to me that I should be um should be looking at. It's getting this final setup complete, which uh, which I completely agree with too. Uh you were you are stopping there, so he's still pressure blocking, but not from that guy. So let's have a look at that. I'm just curious to see what. This guy's pressure blocking. Now, I don't think that that's necessarily the biggest issue. Um, because nothing about that pressure block is actually slowing down. It will, like, there's so much natural gas in that. That's not a problem. So I'm not too bothered. Increased decor, increased excavation. It's not bad, Ren. Thermometer. Makes balloon animals. Very interesting little comment there for Ren. But we could invite Ren in. We could have a lot of fun with Ren. But guess what? Everyone gets omelets. Or at least, I guess, three if you get omelets. Yeah, I don't know, Camille. Just really assume that you've deserved the omelet there. Now, she just ate dinner there as opposed to going to her assigned table. 
Would that suggest she can't get to her table, or would it suggest that she just couldn't be bothered with it? Copper delivery still coming for that too. Uh, that's the priority of that. Okay. So, well, I should. Oh, do I don't need to wait for this to kick in. No power. Okay, did I disconnect the power from this cabling? Yes. So I guess for now what we can do is just... Although that's a lot of power that's going to be on the back end of that because that actually goes down to these guys. The division of that particular side. It's not too bad. I did fix it. why I did not. It's, it's iron ore that that's now using. It's happening without copper. It's not copper ore, that's just straight copper. So, should I maybe just put in an order for some more copper? an order for one. Now hopefully as this guy sucks up that natural gas, the carbon dioxide below this is going to push that natural gas back up. That's the hope. Okay. Oil reservoir. What we have this in is going to be power. Volume generator. Is that what I've got there? No, what I've got there is an oil refinery. That's crude oil into petroleum and natural gas. So, it, this is, it, it's insane how long ago this was that I actually set this thing up. So the natural gas that this creates, is that just into the air? If so, let's, um, let's just build a little thing here. I mean, if it's just going to put it in there, let's maybe make an airflow tiles set that just sort of runs directly above it. catch that um that natural gas in a single spot. Now we'll just make a call to dig everything else in that section. Okay. Um so what did I need? The oil reservoir. 
that's crude oil and a petroleum. So we just have crude oil. So I guess all I need is just what a liquid pump. It's going to pump it up in there. So seemingly what I would then want is I would want to try and take all of this liquid and consolidate it into a single point. So if we go ladder down, ladder down into this section here. So there's another thing there actually. Maybe we want to go ladder down into that section. Okay. That's all sort of downhill to, to here. How hot are we looking at down here? 80 degrees. We'll dig. Sort of like angle down. I encourage this stuff just to run, run downhill. Um... Similar for these guys. Just sort of get it all joined together and, and running down to that, that sort of like final spot. Um, I suppose really we should go all the way down to here. That's very close to lava though, but I mean, the, I guess that must be pretty good at keeping the heat in. Okay, so that's running down. Uh, we want to get... This guy included too. Maybe let's run a ladder. Goes like that. That should pick off a lot of this stuff. All of those sections will come through. Uh, we want to dig... That, that section involved. Just knock out some of this so we can work our way up here. Then dig. Cancel that one. That one included. So work at getting that one included section. Uh, I guess then from there we can build just a ladder that goes straight up there. Try and get that part to come down too. Then we want to dig out. That. And then we'll put a ladder. Straight up here. Yeah, so lots of digging, but hopefully that'll sort of mean that we can just put one pump in that'll sort of be have access to all of this. There's more that we can get going this way. Wow, lots more. Um, let's go for... all that and I guess once we're over there we can see what sort of stuff's looking here too okay then what we want to do is I guess all we need is what a liquid pump doesn't sort of tell me what there's liquids so hopefully that includes oil Okay, and then what we can do is we can also just set up our plumbing. 
Come along and straight down. Uh, and this will probably be our last night for this one too. Uh, and we want just power. Bring that in as well. Have to run from. At least I can follow this path. All right, so. Now let's see if, uh, we will call it there. Well, just the last thing I want to check is to see if that automation is in place. Cool, so we say automation, uh, it is water. What are so Ah, it's gone through that. Okay. Right, so hard to avoid everything, and I hit one of the very first things on its path. So let's deconstruct the automation there. And go back to automation and we'll copy around it. So that should just be that basically that is turning off this pump. Uh, which would be great to confirm. So that's green, meaning that's red, so this will be set to red. And we're good. All right, uh, any questions or comments, feel free to chuck them below. Yep, so I guess uh, the big things there is, is there anything I'm doing totally wrong about the way that I'm setting up my oil? Um, obviously at the moment, it's just sort of moving all the oil to the same one spot. Uh, anything else I should be aware of while doing that. Thank you for all the comments on this previous one. And what is it that I should really be looking for in the ideal candidate for my next... Um, person because obviously like I went for Camille on my last time and Camille's still a work in progress so um yeah happy to accept advice all right and uh until next time I'll I'll catch you later see ya